attacks us with nuclear weapons, danger will come not just from blast or heat or nearby radiation effect, but also from fallout. Fallout, which may occur miles and miles away from the blast. You need to know about fallout, what it is, how to detect it, and what to do to protect yourself against it. Everybody needs to know. Yes, this does mean you. Watch and listen. One day, these facts may save your life. What is this fallout, anyhow? Just bits of radio act fall out of the mushroom cloud of the nuclear explosion and settle on the ground. These bits of matter can be dangerous. You are exposed to some radiation every day from cosmic rays or other natural sources of radiation. These exposures are too small to hurt you. But when a wartime nuclear explosion occurs, a serious fallout follows. Thousands of tons of atomized earth, building materials, rocks and gases may be thrown into the air. And the mushroom cloud containing them sometimes moves as high as 100,000 feet, nearly 20 miles up. Some of the radioactive particles spill out near the explosion site. Others may be carried for 10, 50, 100 miles or more. But how will you know if there is fallout? You can't hear, smell, taste, or see the radiation. But you yourself can detect the fallout particles that produce it. The easiest time to do this without special instruments is when the fallout is settling through the air. This starts any time from about one half hour to several hours after the explosion, depending on how far away you are. And it continues to fall for an hour or longer. Usually you can see the fallout. So if there has been an explosion of a nuclear weapon within a few hundred miles of you, you should suspect every unusual concentration of dust in the air of being fallout. After an explosion in daylight, watch any unusual accumulation of dust. At night, put a white or light colored plate outside. Examine it every 15 minutes or so. If dust is accumulated on the plate, treat it as fallout. The particles in that fallout behave like miniature X-ray machines, sending out radiation in all directions if there are many particles, and if you are exposed to them long enough, you will be hurt. Others will be watching for that fallout, of course. Experts will estimate the probable path and speed of approaching fallout and try to keep you posted. But it may come before you hear any details by radio or otherwise. You must take precautions, whether you hear their reports or not. If radio stations are operating, you will hear reports, especially on the Conrad frequencies 640 or 1240 on your AM dial. As soon as it is safe for specially protected crews to get out into the open, these highly trained civil defense radiation detection teams will make a thorough check of radiation levels and characteristics. Those facts will be relayed to you by radio as fast as they come into civil defense headquarters in your area. Information from the radiation monitoring teams will be combined and analyzed by experts manning a central radiation control point. These experts, who know just how fast harmful radiation reduces in force, can predict when it will be safe for people to come out of shelters and resume normal tasks. 